Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. A house and lot cost $270,000. The house costs five times as much as the lot. What is the cost of the lot? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if we can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now before I show you the answer, we'll take one more quick look at the problem. So a house and lot cost $270,000. Uh, so that's the total cost. The house costs five times as much as the lot. What is the cost of the lot? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is $45,000. That is the cost of the lot, not the house. Now, if you got this right, that is great. I got to give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you still are a certified professional expert in the area of solving basic math word problems. Now, this particular problem, I'm going to be using algebra to solve. Now, if I would have said solve the algebra word problem, a lot of you would like algebra word problem. I can't do algebra word problems. This is why I don't like math. I'm not going to, I'm going to just leave this video right now. Well, you know, I didn't say algebra word problems for a specific, or an algebra word problem because uh, specifically I didn't want to scare, but uh, scare anyone off. And secondly, you don't have to use algebra to solve this problem. Algebra is a tool, very much like a hammer or something like this. It's a tool. It's a math tool. And it makes things so much easier. And some problems actually require the use of algebra. But this particular problem, you know, uh, it could be solved through common sense. So either way, if you got the right answer, that's fantastic. And if you're kind of like sad and saying, you know, I didn't even get this right, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, don't uh, despair. I'll show you exactly how to do this problem. And uh, let's go ahead and get it uh, started right now. And first thing is, hey, we are dealing with a math word problem. So you want to always use the rule of three. Now, this is my rule, but to kind of... Um, I learned this the hard way through many, many years and decades, and uh, it's a great little rule. It's a great habit, okay? Math, you know, is about kind of having the right academic habits, things like writing out all your work, using a pencil, not a pen, so you can erase, showing all, this, uh, all your steps, and then also using the rule of three, which is to read the prompt at least three times before you start doing anything, okay? So even though you understand the prompt, read it in detail, you know, let your brain kind of kick in, and uh, think about, hey, what you, you know, what approaches can you take to solve this problem? Okay, it's always the best way to solve a math word problem. So we have a house and lot. Now, just in case you don't know what a lot is, that's the uh, land, if you will, that the house is going to be uh, built upon. So the house and lot, uh, the total cost uh, for the house and the lot is two hundred seventy thousand dollars. All right, so the house costs five times as much as the lot. And what is the question here? Well, the question is what's the cost of the lot, okay? Because you're going to come up with some numbers here, and you don't want to confuse what the question is asking. It's the cost of the lot, not the cost of the house. All right, so well, how can we kind of, you know, take the next step with dealing with this problem? We've read, uh, read the problem three times. What is the, you know, uh, you know, best approach? Well, when you are dealing with a math word problem, you always want to try to model the information, uh, visualize it. In this way, you know, uh, you can kind of see uh, different possible um, solutions, if you will. And again, there's not just one way to do this problem, but try to model the information. So let me go ahead and model uh, the information this way. Now, you could have modeled it uh, differently, but this is just a kind of basic model. So we have a lot and the house. So the total cost here, right? So if you're shopping around, for let's say a new construction house, you got to buy the lot, which is the land, and then you got the house. So the total cost is two hundred seventy thousand dollars. So we need a strategy, okay? Because we know there's a relationship that the house costs five times as much as the uh, lot. 
but we have the lot and the house and we know the total is two hundred and seventy thousand dollars now some of you could have been like all right well these this is five times as much as this maybe if i take this and divide it into six equal parts and then this would be the cost of the lot and then five of those parts would be the cost of the house you know that is fantastic and that is um a great way of doing a problem. The one thing I would suggest is this, if you didn't use algebra or whatever technique you use, okay, whether it's algebra or just, uh, you know, another approach, make sure you, um, you know, write it out in such a way where somebody can understand your work, namely you or a teacher or somebody else that you want to prove to. So let's say you had the answer, like, no, my answer is right. And someone says, no, you're wrong. How would you prove yourself, right? In other words, how would you prove your work and justify your conclusions, that is the way you want to do math. You're always trying to show that, hey, yes, indeed, I did this right. All right, now here, again, I'm gonna use algebra because algebra just makes things so much easier. So I'm looking for what? Well, let's go back to the question here real quick. Uh, the question is, what is the cost of the lot? So in algebra, we have these things called variables. They represent unknown values. So I'm gonna say, all right, well, I'm gonna let X equal the cost of the lot. Well, I have this other uh, piece of information, and the problem it says the house right here. Of course, we have to keep going back to the problem. The house costs five times as much uh, as the lot. So if the lot costs X dollars, well, the house is going to cost five X dollars. So in algebra, five times is uh, five not right next to the variable X. This means five being multiplied by X, not five plus X. Okay, this is five more than X, so 5X is five times. So looking at this, well, if the lot costs X and the house costs five times as much as the lot, that's 5X. I know the total is $270,000, and I need that total amount. Okay, you can see here I have an equal sign because it does us no good to have these variables like X uh, right here in algebra unless I can build an equation and solve for that variable. Okay, this is a very kind of... Um, common uh, approach to solving algebra word problems or math word problems that you're, you're going to use algebra in, you're going to assign a variable to represent an unknown uh, value or values, and then you need to build an equation. And hopefully uh, here you could see that, oh, wow, you know, X plus 5X is equal to $270,000. It should be somewhat obvious what that equation is going to be. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Okay, so we're going to kind of uh, formalize our uh, strategy here. So we'll let X equal the cost of the lot in dollars, right? So that is our uh, unit of measure. So again, we have the lot, it's X, right? So X amount of dollars. And we know that the house, so we'll just kind of write this out here again. This is the lot. This is the house. The house is five times as much as the lot. Okay, so the lot plus the house is $270,000. Of course, we know that we're dealing with dollars here. But really what we have is this lovely equation right here. So X plus 5X is equal to $270,000. So really, uh, it's really um, up to those of you out there that understand basic algebra to solve this equation right here. This is super easy. And if you want to give this a try, maybe just pause the video. But let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel because I need your support. Okay, I've been on YouTube for a long time. I'm very fortunate to have um, a lot of followers and a lot of views, and I'm grateful for that. And I feel like I'm making a uh, you know somewhat of a difference in helping people learn uh, mathematics. And math is a game, or is a game? It's a it's a it's a subject of confidence. And oftentimes, people you know get down on themselves. They're like, ah, I don't understand math. I'm bad at math because I'm just like you know never ever say things like that to yourself. Okay, I'm just telling you right now. You're not bad at math. If you struggle with math, that's you know your that's just your starting point. Okay, you just kind of just think of it like uh, some stairs. If you're right here and you're struggling in math because you don't understand a lot of math, all right, well that's just your where you're at right now. Okay, but if you want to get here, you can. But you, there are no shortcuts. You're going to have to walk each step at a time. I know a lot of you are like, well, I'm impatient. I don't have the time for that, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I have to uh, learn calculus by next week. Well, I'm sorry to inform you that's impossible. And if someone says, hey, look, I could teach you calculus in three days, uh, you know, uh, you'll master everything. Well, you know, that is a fantasy, right? You might learn some basic, basic concepts, but to truly understand math, it takes time, all right? Time, work, practice, and commitment. So that is the truth. 
But um, if you're willing to put in the time or work, what you need is great comprehensive math instruction. And that's what I try to do, not only in YouTube, but my full courses. So if you want to learn from me, check out uh, my full courses. You'll see links to those uh, in the description. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for giving me a little bit of time to tell you what I do or why I do what I do. And just hit that subscribe button. It's just so much easier to just, you know, really kind of shut me up so we can get back to the prom. And then hit that notification bell so you get my latest videos. Okay, so here we have a super easy basic linear equation to solve. So we have x plus 5x is equal to 270,000. All right, now this x... Uh, there is actually a number in front of the X. It's a one. Now we don't typically write it there, but you know, if you see an X, it's really a one X. So these are what we call like terms in algebra. An X and an X, we can combine them. If I have one X here and five X, five X's over here, well, all together we have six X's. So we have six X is equal to two hundred seventy thousand dollars, or two hundred seventy thousand. So we want to get X by itself. So we have six times X. How can we get uh, X by itself? Easy. We could just divide uh, both sides of the equation by six. Remember, the golden rule in algebra is you can do whatever you want to an equation as long as you do it equally to both sides. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by six. So six divided by six here is going to be one x or x, and then 270,000 divided by six is 45,000. Okay, but uh, what does this 45,000 represent? Well, remember, back in the beginning of the prom, we let x equal the cost of the lot in dollars. That's what X was equal to, and X is equal to 45,000. So that means the lot is uh, $45,000. Okay. All right. So again, you know, you don't have to use algebra to solve a problem like this, but this is a nice little illustration of how you know, algebra works in terms of solving math word problems. Now, there are much, much more difficult problems that absolutely require the use of algebra. But even if you don't know, you know, algebra or, you know, if you're struggle with math, you should always, always try. OK, even if you're like, ah, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong, you know, by trying it just, you know, it's just a good critical activity for your brain. OK. And again, if you need help in math, please get the help that, you know, you uh, well, first of all, if you're a math student, please get immediate help, if, especially if you're struggling because you don't want to fail a math course. That's not good. So hopefully you have uh, enough time to turn those things around. But if you want to learn math, if you just were like, boy, you know what, I just never learned math properly for whatever reason back in your school days, let me give you a couple quick options. One, I have a course called Math Skills Rebuilder. This is my latest course. Uh, it's for those of you, uh, you'll find links to this course, all these courses, by the way, in the description. But uh, this particular course is for those of you that want to really learn math, starting from the very basics, and then I just kind of build you up from there. So if you're not a student and you want to re uh, relearn math with me, that's the course to check out. But uh, if you're an algebra student, I have all those cor uh, course links in the description as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.